So you have a Samsung Smart TV and you are having an issue where your Amazon Prime Video will not open, it doesn't load, maybe you get an error message, or it's just frozen. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. So first thing is with your TV on, grab your uh, Samsung TV remote. You know, what, what I want you to do is I want you to press and hold the power button. Press and hold it. Do not let go of that power button until we see that Samsung logo appear. Usually it takes about like five or seven seconds. I'm still holding onto the power button. There's a the Samsung logo. Now I'm going to go ahead and let go. Now once you um, give the, um, the TV to boot back up, wait about like 30 seconds, and then go ahead and try to open up uh, Amazon Prime and see if you are having those issues. You should be up and running. Most of you guys, that's usually the, the number one cause or the number one fix, okay? Anyways, if that didn't work, we're gonna go to step number two. Okay, so for the next possible fix, what I want you to do is go ahead and unplug the TV, okay? So let me just go ahead and pull it right out of the wall socket. Just like that, you wanna wait one minute. After one minute is up, Let's go ahead and go back and let's plug this back in. Go ahead and open up the app and see if it's working. If it's not, we're going to go to the next option. Okay, so for step number three, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug several things now, okay? So first thing is this. Again, we're going to go ahead and unplug the TV here. Unplug that. And now you also want to go ahead and unplug your modem as well as your router. Some of you guys may just have like one device, one, one unit that's a wireless modem and router. Okay, anyways, the only thing you wanna do is just unplug it. Just make sure the power comes off. I have a router and a modem here. Let me go ahead and pull the power plug on this one too. So make sure it turns off. Okay, so I have my router, my modem, and my TV unplugged. I'm gonna wait one minute. After one minute is up, I'm going to go ahead and plug everything back in. It really doesn't matter which order you do it in, okay? So go ahead and plug everything back in after one minute. Okay, router and modem is plugged back in. Now I need to go ahead and plug my TV back in. Pop this in just like that. You can go ahead and turn the TV on and let's go ahead and wait like two or three minutes with everything that gets, make sure everything gets, the router and modem, everything gets connected. Then go ahead and open up your Amazon Prime video and hopefully everything is up and running. You can see I got an error message here is because I didn't wait long enough. Okay, I still gotta wait. I'm gonna give another another minute for it to connect to my internet, okay? Okay, there you go. I had to wait another uh, minute. Okay, so if you're still having issues, so the next step, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and update your Samsung TV. So let's go ahead and go into settings here. You can simply just press on the home button on the remote control. And then you just want to go ahead and move the uh, left arrow. You want to go into your settings. There's a settings gear icon over there. Right there, let me go ahead and press on enter. And now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to go down to support, okay? Now, there is software update, just the FYI. You see how the software update and the self-diagnosis are grayed out? Anytime a... Um, a options um, setting is grayed out on your Samsung TV, it's most likely because you have something open in the background. For example, you may have Netflix open or Hulu. In my case, I have Amazon Video open up in the background. That's why it's not going to let me um, do a software update. So what I'm going to do is just press on exit to close the background app that's open. So let me go ahead and go to my remote here. Here's exit right here. Let's click on exit. And now let me go ahead and go back into the settings. Doesn't matter if the TV part is on, okay? So let me just go ahead and scroll to the left. Let me go back into my settings right here. And now I'm gonna go down to support and now software update is no longer grayed out. Move over to the right, just press on enter and I'm gonna go ahead and update now. Let's see if there's a update or not. Checking for updates. Oh wow, I actually do have an update available, okay? So let me go ahead and just, uh, I'm going to go ahead and update this right now. Uh, actually, you know what, I, I'm just going to go ahead and, st and stop the update here. Because it's, it's just going to take too long, but you get the message. If you have an update available, go ahead and update the TV. Now, once you update the TV, go ahead and open up your Amazon Prime and hopefully you're up and running. If you're not, now the next thing that we're going to do is this. We're going to go back into your settings here again. So I'll just show you how to get back into settings. Remember, uh, just, uh, just press on the uh, home button here. And then we want to move to the left. 
we want to go to the gear icon right there settings tap on settings and we want to reset network okay so we're going to go ahead and go down oh it's actually under general so go to general and then move over to the right and then just go ahead and open up network right here and now we're going to go ahead and go down to where it says reset network so we'll go ahead and reset my network here now take note when you reset a network basically it's going to reset everything so you will have to input your home wi-fi um password and all that again okay so anyways reset network let's go ahead and press on okay or enter here do you want to reset the network settings let's go ahead and do it let's slide over to yes click on okay resetting the network settings please wait okay the network settings have been reset you can set them again by selecting the network settings so that's what we need to do we need to go back now to network settings here and now we go have to go ahead and um, set up your network okay if you're doing wireless or if you're doing wired I have a wireless network here so I'm gonna go to wireless press on enter and I'm gonna go ahead and find my network name which is right here and now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the password and I can input the uh, password using my, my phone or my TV but I just use my my remote here okay so let's go ahead and put my password in okay password is in let's go to done hopefully that is the correct password give it a second here checking wireless network connection okay now go ahead, and go ahead and select okay here now go ahead and open up your prime video and you should be up and running now if you're still having issues on your amazon prime video then the last option i have for you is to do a factory reset if you do a factory reset remember it's basically as if you just bought the samsung um, smart tv brand new and took it out of the box okay so you will have to reset everything again you have to select your language you have to input your uh, passwords in and whatnot and simply how you do that is just go into the settings again and then if you go into the settings you want to go down to okay it's actually under general here and then move over to the right and at the very bottom is a reset here okay remember if you're if the reset is grayed out it's because you have an app that's open up in the background i'm not going to reset my tv but hopefully most of you guys are up and running um after you, at least you do like the last step here any questions or comments uh, i mean uh just comment below good luck guys